The lieutenant repeats impatiently. He lets go of the jaws. The mouth snaps shut before you. Hepatobiliary. N.A. Why? Don't we have anything? Are you a hepatobiliary expert? He looks at the corpse's stomach with a mixture of tiredness and disgust. I don't think so. Neither am I. And that's it? That's it. Same for toxicology and serology. N.A. Oh? Unless you have untapped reservoirs of knowledge there? The completionist to me wonders if there's something we could still do. Like a toxicology screening? At this stage, I doubt Processor will find anything, even if he was brimming with cocaine. But still, you should add a request. Is it possible to not play this game as a crazy disco hobo cop? Yes, it is. You can be totally rational, normal, and hyper-intelligent and all that stuff, but... You know, I figured if I'm gonna do it, we're gonna go at least a little unhinged. Mmm, brimming with cocaine. Add talk psychology requested. Cardiovascular. But <laughs> you can play as the most racist limited. person ever. Blood has gathered in the hands, feet, and neck. Hypostasis is visually consistent with the hanging. I'm not sure how I lean yet in terms of those sorts of things in the game. I kind of want to get rid of this. Yeah, let's, let's toss this. Screw that nonsense. Yeah. Gastrointestinal. He breathes a sigh of approaching relief. This is the last field on the list. He looks around to the ground, the pool of feces there. Digested semi-solid food in stomach. Voila. Being erased in the game is hard because it involves being mean to Kim. Seems kind of rude. Write it down. Keep the voila. What's next on the list? <laughs> All right. Description of injuries. The summary. Let's see. We have bite marks, contusions on the head and chest, and a ligature mark encircling the neck. You'll need three fields. Leave a fourth one too. What's the fourth injury field for? Nothing. Just in case. All right. The bite marks. Head, chest, and scalp bite mark injuries. Predation by birds has caused damage to the body. Odontologist does not need to be consulted. And your opinion, officer? Non-fatal, post-mortem. Agreed. Next injury? Contusions. So, the scalp bleeds from a post-mortem head injury. The injury does not have the rim of an early inflammatory response. A perpetrator on the scene has confessed to causing it post-mortem. I like the Kuno character, but I also want to slap him. Has confessed to causing it at maximum velocity. Coagulated blood sticks to his scalp and chest, where the countless stones have hit the dead man. Beneath the description of injury, two boxes. Non-fatal, post-mortem. Right. Next. Ligature mark. A dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck with a gap on the nape measuring, let's say, seven centimeters. The hyoid bone is fractured, the cervical column intact. I see hemorrhaging on the skin <coughs> above and below the ligature mark. Depth of the mark, one centimeter. No signs of clawing on the neck. He has a new voice? You mean his old voice? Or he had an old voice? My thumbnail? Which one? Yeah, I, uh, I managed to really capture the essence of that, that thumbnail there. It's actually pretty funny. Yeah, let's uh, let's stash this for later. Amazing. Let's drop that on Discord for later. Before the final cut, his old voice was way worse. I'll have to look it up and see what it was like. Let's write it down. Below the note, two customary boxes wait to be ticked. The man's head jerks to the side. The ring around his neck is visible. What was that about no chlorine around the neck? You'd be chlorine for your life. Fatal injury. That's it. We have established cause of death. It's not much, and it leaves much to be questioned. But it's a start. Let's wrap this up. I pronounce this field autopsy over. First, how did it go? Well, we established probable cause of death. Some would say that's the goal of an autopsy. We also requested a toxicological screening. That was thorough. The results should arrive in a couple of weeks, if we are lucky. I will not hold my breath. What else? We were thorough with the list of injuries, too. We described them all in detail. What is there to say? Given the circumstances, it was a professional field autopsy. Oh, yeah. Well done, Master Detective. Maybe a drink is in order? Perhaps a drink is in order. Later, I mean. Now, you see, that worries me. You will die if you drink. You know that, don't you? You are proving a useful detective. The organization would miss you. I think all we're going to do is smoke from here Please on out. Please get yourself together. 
the lieutenant from precinct 57 thinks oh uh, we have a new thought amazing actually this reminds me eh. what now i need a copy of that autopsy form then i will drive him to Fulborg. here have a copy he looks at the dead man one more time then at the slip of red paper in the, his hand then at the corpse again you tilt your head also looking at the corpse sure your arm reaches out and your eyes close as if by their own volition it's dark all around you feel cold dead flesh through the latex glove it's right under the palm of your hand what is this his face his cheeks his nose his fat swollen lips like a rubber spider your gloved hand crawls on his features Everything is silent all around. Let's crawl up his nostrils. They are swollen shut. You need to really push to get in. Push your fingers in his nose. Only the little one fits. The flesh changes shape as you bore in, searching for something in the cartilage. The fuck is he doing? You hear a voice squeak. It sounds very far away. The thing you're looking for, it's not there. Crawl out, spider. Put your fingers in his mouth. The oral cavity is cold and moist. A ball-like tongue attaches itself to the base of the mouth, lolling around like a scallop. You're on the right track. Play with it. This feels right. The tongue moves freely in the cavity. The mucus of the mouth is slippery, fragile, even through the latex. From the soft meat, teeth are budding. Hard pearls of bone in the gums and in the back of the mouth can you feel it? You're so close. Rip his jaws open now. Look here. Open your eyes and look. A vision of black and dark red death, pried open by your hands and studded with teeth. Looks like he's laughing. Death fumes rising from his throat. And there, in the back of his mouth, above the bell of the uvula, right in the soft palate. Star Wars Outlaws. So I like the Star Wars universe in general, especially when the Jedi aren't involved. I did really like Jedi Fallen Order. I plan to play Jedi Survivor actually next on my list of games to play. From what I've seen of Star Wars Outlaws, it leaves a lot to be desired. Really mediocre AI, bad stealth gameplay, a reputation system that really has no consequences or impact on the story in general and very poor gunfights so i'm not sure what redeeming qualities it has it's definitely not going to be a game i'm going to be buying anytime soon so where i'll leave it i like that they're doing those sorts of games i think there is a lot of opportunity for you know pseudo open world rpg types i would like to see a return to the storytelling and the quality of the Knights of the Old Republic games. Not necessarily in that Neverwinter Nights like Bioware style. That's fine. I don't mind if it's a more, you know, real time fluid sort of thing. You could imagine if Larian made a Star Wars game, how wild it could be. You see a hole, barely visible to the human eye. It is swollen shut, almost vanished. No larger than 0.4 centimeters in radius. The edges appear darkened. F yeah. Keep going. Kuno nods too. He takes a step closer. Touch it with your finger. Gently. A black trickle of liquid runs into his throat from the wound. Put your finger in it. <laughs> your index fits right in there. A tight tunnel of flesh opens up. Tissue damage. Wide enough for two fingers. As you push both in, you reach through his mouth right into his brain stem the fuck is happening ah oh, shit see feel around first the basal ganglia feels clumpy what entered here has torn apart his reptilian complex the funk soul brother at the back of his head has gone dark forever push deeper your yellow fingers slide into the remains of the limbic system there is no resistance it's gelatinous the slug-like structures are damaged, too. The tearing extends deep into both hemispheres. There's a cavity cut right between the hemispheres. 
The lieutenant answers with the sound of his pen on paper. Fucking cavity, you see? Kuno's voice is hushed. Your fingers are all the way in now, reaching toward the inside of his skull. The cavity goes further, but the entry wound isn't wide enough for the rest of your hand to follow. All the muscles in your body harden. Time to enter him. <laughs> Let's wriggle in. Your fingers reach toward his skull. His cerebral cortex feels like jelly. Cold jelly. Strange fluid streams down your wrist as you push deeper until you feel it on the tip of your finger. Ice cold serrated metal. Its edges cut right through the latex and into your finger. The pain is barely noticeable under the adrenaline rush. I feel a solid object right under the skull. Can you, can you get to it? Inspect the skull first. There's a tiny crack, a protrusion in the cranium, right in the back of his head. Your finger must be pointing straight at it from the inside. So let me get it straight. This guy, we've gone in through his mouth. We're poking at the back of his skull. The object that is in there stops just short of the skull in the encephalus, knocking this tiny fracture into the cranium. We have the makings of a very small exit wound here. Lieutenant leans closer. Forget about the fucking exit wound, Bino. The pig is wearing him like a fuck puppet. Her voice is absolutely sizzling with excitement. All right, let's fish it out. You pick the object between your index and middle finger. Feel sharp, like metal. You press your teeth together. Your jaw is clenched. All you need to do is just... I got it. My pig's fucking got it? He's watching his old man get the big prize at the claw game. What is it? Slowly pull your fingers out. The inside of the head feels cold and smooth like a glove sweat dripping down your brow careful not to lose the prize between your fingers they plop your hand emerges from the mouth the garden glove is covered in blood right up to the wrist between your fingers a small flower a blossom made of lead fucking beautiful a bullet the lieutenant puts a small bag marked evidence under it the bullet falls in the bag leaving a smattering of blood on the plastic. He raises the bag under his eyes and says, A non-caliber rifle, some kind of brittle alloy, fractured on impact. Here, bit, Lieutenant, as a gift. No, no, you deserve it. We can log it later. The lieutenant drops the bag in your hand. It feels light. We need to add an item to the injury list. Injury number four, oval entry wound with an abrasion collar, soft palate, back of mouth. High velocity, temporary cavity in brain tissue, small exit wound on the occiput. How does that sound? Sounds like heaven. Opinion, fatal injury. Goddamn right. And one last thing. We should amend injury number three. Ligament mark. New opinion, non-fatal, post-mortem, treatment. He's proposing the bullet was the real cause of death and the hanging an attempt to conceal this fact. The ligament mark, the fractured hyoid bone, it was all treatment. Yes, and the belt around his neck, the hanging, even dragging. <laughs> you doing back to, to back depth? All of it was done after this man was already dead. How does your recovery rate keep up? Dead, dabba doop doop. Dead, daddy, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Thanks. So. I did not just come up with this. I've had my doubts since you showed me the tracks, officer. Why did they carry him over? Why not march him? There is no satisfactory explanation. There have been other signs too, small details. Everything is too neatly designed for us to assign probable cause here, as we did, full-heartedly. Well, no more. We almost fell for it, he thinks. Almost. Maybe the bullet holds more answers. Yes, we should take a closer look at it. I am certain it has more to tell us. This little thing could reveal much about the weapon that shot it. Who would do this? That's for us to find out, but this, it will make finding them just a little easier. Why would anyone do this? To hide something. The real killer? The real motivation? What really happened here? I think I need to wash myself. Oh, you really, really do. I am glad to hear you say that. Your room in the whirling in rags should come with a bathroom. Be sure to make use of it in the evening. Sweet. What happens next? We beg the corpse and carry him to the holding pen of my kinema. 
I can transport him to processing myself, but I will be gone for the rest of the day. You'll be gone? What should I do in the meanwhile? Work on the case. Tend to personal matters. Try not to do anything too dangerous. An officer needs backup in a neighborhood like this. I'll leave that choice to you. And one more thing. Great work, detective. The word lingers in the air of the yard. Far away, dogs are barking. Further yet, the sound of motor traffic. Detective. Hell yeah. After you bag the corpse, Lieutenant Kitsuragi will leave the party until tomorrow morning. You can do side tasks and even the main case, but it might be more difficult. Plan his exit accordingly. All right, let's bag him. Take him away. All right. He takes out a shiny black body bag and starts pulling the plastic over the dead man's face. There go those beautiful enamel boots. You will never own the full set now. May they rest in processing. I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands. I'll take the legs. Bag the corpse and drag it to the motor carriage. That's okay. They're probably gross anyway. 